While rumors of a Back to the Future 4 haven't stopped circulating among fans, a new report claims that a new continuation of Doc Brown and Marty McFly's story is currently in development. Back to the Future by Robert Zemeckis is regarded as one of the best blockbusters ever produced in Hollywood. It was an exciting adventure that, unlike many American movies from the 1980s, has aged remarkably well. It also led to the development of two thriving sequels. Most people agree that the first film is among the best sci-fi films of all time, if not the best. The only movie in the trilogy that travels to the future in its fantastic and imaginative sequences set in 2015, Back to the Future Part 2 stands out as the most unique of the three. Although Part 2 and Part 3 were shot side by side, Part 3 is by far the least well-known of the trilogy because it leaves Marty and Doc Brown stranded in the distant past of 1885 and resolves many of the cliffhangers from the ending. Nevertheless, Back to the Future Part 3 still has the fun with stunt casting and outrageous action sequences that the Back to the Future franchise is known for, and it brings the story to a satisfying conclusion even though it lacks the appeal of the original's 50s nostalgia or the second entry's futuristic technology. It seems likely to stay that way since Back to the Future is still one of the biggest movie franchises that have never undergone an extension or reboot. Earlier this year, Fox and Lloyd had a touching reunion at the New York Comic Con. Fox and Lloyd posted pictures of themselves together on their respective social media accounts. Time, tell me about it. Fox captioned the photo, while Lloyd commented, You better not tell them, at real Mike J. Fox, there is a slight possibility of overload, and the fans are going crazy. Now, it seems the two actors have reunited once more and are possibly planning something, maybe a fourth film. Given that the franchise has never been rebooted, it's about time. Back to the Future is one of the few popular franchises that haven't been touched in more than three decades since the trilogy's conclusion, in contrast to other classic movies that have recently received reboots like Ghostbusters and Top Gun. Back to the Future fans are divided on whether or not the franchise should make a comeback because reboots are frequently hit and miss, with some being box office bombs while others outperform their original source material. The tone and appearance of the original Back to the Future movie are carried over into the sequels, which were produced just a few years later. They all seem to be part of a single vision as a trilogy, which Back to the Future 4 would unavoidably feel separate from. It's been too long already, and it's time for you to smash that like button if you haven't done it already. Horrible nightmare. Dream that I went back in time. About 30 years. It's a nice round number. Look me up when you get there, alright? This will be about 47. Royland created the brief pilot, The Real Animated Adventures of Doc and Marty, while submitting webisodes to the Channel 101 Film Festival in the 2000s, a shock comic take on the unusual pairing of an old man scientist and a young foolish boy. Later, Harmon contacted Royland for ideas to present to Adult Swim, and together they developed the idea into a more sophisticated half-hour format. And the rest, so they say, is history. While Back to the Future Part 4 is still very likely to Never happened, a live-action Rick and Morty teaser from Adult Swim has fans in frenzy. Christopher Lloyd might one day be able to revisit his iconic mad scientist role in the form of real-life Rick. With a recent renewal for 70 episodes by co-creators Dan Harmon and Justin Roiland, the animated science fiction comedy series has won numerous Emmys for its sharp, satirical, and reflexive writing. A live-action introduction isn't completely out of the question either. A live-action Rick and Morty may be as close as fans will get to a fourth installment in the beloved 80s franchise, given that the show's roots are deeply rooted in Back to the Future right to the names and personalities of the Tyler duo. The most recent teaser is intriguing, even though it's currently unknown whether Rick and Morty will pursue a live-action film or a more limited project. And what's more, it implies that any possible move in that direction would be wise enough to cast Christopher Lloyd in the part. For fans hoping to see the legendary character actor revel in science fiction antics once more, this may be the best they can get. Well, safe and sound now, back in good old 1955. 1955? You too. Right. Bye-bye, Annie. Oh, man, watch that re-entry. It's a little bumpy. Despite the general consensus that the Back to the Future trilogy should not be rebooted, there are some ways in which it may be successful. Time travel is the main theme of Back to the Future, but as many well-known multiversal stories can attest, time travel frequently has multiversal consequences. When he assisted his parents in getting together in 1955, Marty McFly ensured his own birth, but he also altered some details that sent him to a slightly altered 1985 in Back to the Future. Lorraine and George McFly were wealthy in this alternate timeline, and Biff Tannen worked as their valet. The older Biff Tannen did something similar when he took the sports 
Almanac from 2015 and gave it to his younger self, which led to the creation of a dystopian future in which Biff ruled over Hill Valley. Given how simple it is to construct new timelines, it's conceivable that someone out there saw a time-traveling variant of Marty, Biff, or Doc Brown and got the idea to use it for their own gain, much like Biff Tannen did in Back to the Future Part 2. Every time someone travels through time, it seems as though a new version of the Back to the Future timeline is created. A Back to the Future reboot, however, might demonstrate that every new timeline continues to exist concurrently with the primary one. The timeline was protected from time paradoxes by Marty McFly and Doc Brown, but that doesn't mean a loose end can't repeat and endanger the timeline. After all, the conclusion of Back to the Future Part 3, Doc Brown left the Clara Clayton and his sons in his time-traveling locomotive, probably to travel through the ages, further deviating the timeline into various branches where many alternate universe stories could occur. In one of those parallel universes, Marty McFly and Doc Brown might even be slightly altered versions of themselves, each one on a mission to change the past or guard the original Marty McFly as he attempts to bring their parents together, as he did in Back to the Future Part 2. For a new Back to the Future film, starting from scratch is the riskiest course of action, using only the theory of time travel presented in Back to the Future, a new cast could construct their own time machine and embark on their own adventures in the Back to the Future universe. The time machine might take the form of a refrigerator, similar to the film's earlier pre-DeLorean conception. The new characters could directly address McFly and Brown's adventures to justify a new journey through time, similar to the ambiguous but clear connection Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle and his sequels have to the original, or it could be a spiritual sequel with no narrative connection to any incident or character from the original movies. Perhaps Doc Brown abandoned his research in the Old West, or Marty McFly himself chose to tell his children and grandchildren about his time-traveling adventures. In any case, Michael J. Fox might get his wish for a female Marty McFly in a Back to the Future remake with this direct sequel. Huh? Is your name Marty McFly? Heading toward Hill Valley, California on Wednesday, October 21st, 2015. When it comes to a sequel to such a beloved and well-liked franchise, originality is the name of the game, and adding a youthful and vibrant new cast to the series may be just what it needs to move forward. Although the second and third Back to the Future film installments weren't nearly as popular as the first one, the franchise's fans are divided over whether to abandon the iconic trilogy or uphold its legacy. So smash that subscribe button and notification bell so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. Although there are currently no plans for a reboot, Michael J. Fox stated that he believes the franchise will come around again. It's not completely impossible in a time when reboots and revivals are common. See you in the next video.